how's it going star seekers hope everyone's doing okay my name's got cake and in this review we're going to be taking a look at one of the worst games i've played since super loop drive omg police car chase tv simulator is an arcade style racer which sees you behind the wheel of different vehicles trying to collect money whilst evading the police and swat teams for as long as possible as always if you enjoy this review poke that like button and don't forget to subscribe for future switch indie game reviews so starting the game, we'll drop straight into the main menu where we first get to buy a car. Sadly though our budget is somewhat lacking and we only have $100 to our name. There are 20 vehicles in total in the game to unlock which range from your standard everyday vehicles to trash vans, sports cars and even a monster truck. All we can afford at the moment though is a fucking Winnebago, so we shell out 100 big ones for it. And since the only other thing that we can actually do on the main menu is select between the game's two maps, I pick the first of them, called City Escape, and we jump into our first game. As we begin, some guy yells, go, go, go! and we go nowhere. Now I was expecting the R and L buttons to be accelerate and brake, but not in this game. Accelerate, brake, reverse and steering, the left analogue covers all of these. So we begin accelerating and no joke, we immediately hit our speed cap. This is as fast as this piece of shit can go and right away the cops come tear assing in and begin smashing into us. We do however manage to grab our first coin which rewards an extra $10 before we get destroyed. Having earned only $45 we're nowhere near the $250 required for our next car so it's back to another game. Now the controls in the game are pretty fucking terrible. If you're not holding forward then you'll end up slowing down and to turn you can't be holding forward. It takes a fucking lifetime to perform a turn and slows you down to a crawl, especially in this thing. I did try to be all tactical and head for the trees to avoid the cops in this game but they weren't having any of it. They quickly managed to hunt me down and destroy me. So in addition to the coin pickups you've also got repair pickups. I actually thought that the police car stole my pickup here as I was expecting it to fully repair me but it turns out that they literally restore a fraction of your health which doesn't even cover the damage taken from a single cop car smashing into you. When playing the game you'll quickly notice that any type of pickup are few and far between so the majority of your money actually comes from just surviving for a long time which is literally fucking impossible in this bag of shit Winnebago. Eventually though I earned enough money to buy the first blue car and guess what it actually turns out to be worse than the RV. The reason for this is that it's marginally faster than Winnie but it has a lot less health. Yeah it handles slightly better but the cops are still way faster than you and just destroy you even faster. In this game I lasted 17 seconds and here only 13 seconds. One thing that pisses me off even more is the fact that the cop cars sometimes don't explode in one hit. Instead they just fucking clip through you and get a second and sometimes even third hit on you. So since this blue car was so shit it was back once again to the Winnebago where I then gave the second map a go. Named Desert 51 this map obviously is supposed to be Area 51. It contains a few warehouses, storage containers, an airfield and a whole lot of desert. Now I played a few rounds of this and it was pretty much the same story so since I couldn't outrun them I decided to try hiding from the cops. I first thought maybe I'd squeeze in between these blue containers but they just exploded when I touched them dealing a shit ton of damage to win it destroying her. My second attempt went a little better when I managed to squeeze between this pipe but they still found and destroyed me before a minute was up. Now I eventually did find a decent spot where I was able to pass the 1 minute mark after which your star rating seen in the bottom right increases and big black SWAT trucks begin to appear. Once more though these defy the fucking laws of physics and this one clipped its way straight through the environment to destroy me. After slugging my way through several more games I discovered a few more things. Firstly that Area 51 contains an alien spaceship that can be destroyed. The desert has a boundary wall which is practically invisible and that level barriers indicated by these walls make you instantly explode if you so much as touch them at the wrong angle. By this point I'd already played 31 games and only earned about $1300. I considered buying this VW camper van but for only 500 more I could get this blue Land Rover. It had better speed and handling so I decided to stick at it and dive back into the bullshit. 10 runs later and I'd accumulated enough wealth to afford that sky blue beast. But when I took it for a spin, do you reckon it performed any better than the previous vehicles? Did it fuck? Though it was slightly faster than the others, the cop cars were still much faster and as usual they just swarmed, destroying me before a minute was up. The car was better for getting into sneaky hiding spots, but as soon as you hit that minute mark and that bastard SWAT truck is on the scene, it ghosts its way through the landscape, appearing out of fucking nowhere to demolish you. 
So after playing for about an hour, or 2.0k going by the in-game measurement, I was thoroughly bored with the game, and unwilling to waste any more time getting enough cash to unlock the next shite car, I quit to write this review. So what can I say about OMG police blah blah blah? Well, if I'm honest, there's so many things done badly in this game that accumulate to remove any aspect of fun. Firstly, the control scheme is horrendously bad. Single analog stick controls coupled with bad collision detection make steering in the game just painful. Having an RV as your first vehicle means the game begins in the least exciting way possible and it really does nothing to simulate a chase of any kind. As you crawl your way up the road with no chance whatsoever of evading police, the developer's choice to make everything you touch cause you damage is another mistake. Why would you make one of the funnest parts of any racing game, environmental destruction, one of the main things that you now want to avoid in order to survive longer? It makes no sense whatsoever. Why not just allow you to have fun and earn extra money by destroying shit? The eShop's listing even says you can destroy everything you encounter, but remember to repair your car. But just like the near non-existence currency tokens which appear at random in a level, the repair spots are just as elusive, and even when you do manage to get one, the health recovery is so meagre that it's hardly worth the time trying to seek them out. The one thing that I can praise the game for a bit is the AI pathing of the police. These fuckers usually manage to find you wherever you go, and they'll generally avoid objects to pursue you down even the tightest of tunnels. It is possible to get into spots where you can hide from them, but as soon as a SWAT van's turn up, you're fucked. So basically, you can't run from the police, and you can't hide from them. The eShop description also says collect hundreds of thousands of dollars, but on average you'll earn between 50 and 100 dollars per game, and the price of cars ramps up pretty quickly. And by the time you get to some of the decent cars, you'll likely be so bored of the gameplay loop that you just won't give a shit anymore. One final thing I'll say is that the fourth screenshot made me think that tanks eventually chase you, but these are just static vehicles found in the area of 51 map. I managed to actually find a spot where the police couldn't get to me and after 20 minutes I'd hit 6 stars and the only vehicles to appear were police cars and SWAT cars. So as with all the games I review, I give them a rating between 1 and 5 stars. I also award the shovelware stamp of approval to the worst of games. And for me, OMG Police Car Chase TV Simulator is one of those games that is well deserving of a stamp. The game features two maps, neither of which really offer anything other than a change in aesthetics, and the gameplay loop is just boring due to the terrible controls and none of the game's elements actually doing a good job of injecting any fun into the game. It's just a long, slow, soul-destroying grind to unlock any of the decent vehicles, by which time you're bored shitless. If however you're still curious to try the game, you can get it on the US Switch eStore for $4.99. For some reason the game has disappeared off the UK eStore, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it should be back soon. And that's it for this review of OMG Police Car Chase TV Simulator. Please let me know what you thought of the game and the review in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed it, and consider subscribing to be notified of future Switch Indie Game reviews. Finally, I want to say a big thanks to everyone for watching, and until next time, game on.